y'all, it's Hannah and Jeremy for the Savory Suitcase. To recap, last week we began our journey from Tampa to Massachusetts, starting out with a visit to Salem. This week, we continue our trip through the Northeast. The next stop on our list was Vermont, specifically the idyllic town of Stowe. We stayed at the Best Western in Stowe, which may not sound like the fanciest place, but it was surprisingly festive. One of the main draws for the hotel is the covered bridge right on site. New England is known for picturesque covered bridges and this was the first of many that we saw. The next morning we headed towards the main area of Stowe, stopping for coffee first, of course. The city of Stowe is one of the oldest towns in Vermont, having been settled in the 1700s. It has become a winter resort town that draws visitors from all over to enjoy the incredible ski slopes in the area. It is also considered one of Vermont's most haunted cities, with multiple sightings and legends. Our next stop was the Cold Hollow Cider Mill. They are famous for their cider donuts and a fresh pressed apple cider. We tried both and absolutely understand why everybody puts this on their list of must do's while in Vermont.
We had initially hoped to do a tour of the Ben & Jerry's factory, which is just outside of Stowe in Waterbury, but due to staffing issues this season, they were not open the day that we went. I'm glad we still stopped by because it was cool to see the factory from the outside and grab a photo of the classic spots. But we also had a chance to see the Flavor Graveyard, where they pay homage to all of the retired flavors. Some flavors were retired multiple times. So it says, the fla this flavor, coconut almond fudge chip meets New York super fudge chunk. So it's that one with New York super fudge chunk, which does still exist. At the end of a long day, we headed east towards our next stop in New Hampshire, but we couldn't leave without making one final stop. The Bragg Farm Sugar House has been making traditional maple syrup for over eight generations. We grabbed a maple creamy, which is what they call soft serve in Vermont, and we headed the rest of the way into New Hampshire. Come back next week as we head into the White Mountains and discover more of the best things that New England has to offer. monuments <laughs> no i mean doesn't that feel for monuments doesn't that feel better to you yeah <laughs> you gotta look at me when you do it though <laughs>